Hello there, welcome to my site and welcome to this Paint Shop Pro tutorial on creating line art from a photograph. Now I know that there's a bunch of scripts built into Paint Shop Pro that'll do very similar things, but you know, I've tried them all and I think this is the nicest one and, and it's probably because I spent a lot of time writing the tutorial and uh, creating this video, but no, it is a nice one. You'll love it. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn this airplane F86, as I understand, into a line art picture. We might even bring back some color. So let's get to it. Now the first thing you need to do is duplicate the background. And so we'll hit here. Unfortunately, when I hit these menus, it, it jumps off screen. I have a choice. I can do this full screen so you can't see what the heck I'm doing it, and I can play music in the background. Or I can have it as tight as I can and tell you for sure what's going on and and talk you through it. I think I'd rather do that. Okay, there's duplicate. Duplicate, sorry. Now what we want to do is turn this duplicate into a black and white. Now there's a couple ways of doing it. If you do there's one called grayscale here, okay? It turns into a grayscale. But if you look at the layers, it's turned both the background and the copy into a, a grayscale. I don't want that. And you don't want it either, and you'll find out why. So we're gonna undo that grayscale. But what we're going to do is go to Effects, and this is one of the things you can't see. Uh, photo Effects, Black and White Film. And this is the monster panel that they do it with Paint Shop Pro. It's huge. Uh, you've got an image here. Maybe I can make it smaller. Um, I think I can make it smaller, actually. Get rid of the little thumbnail pictures there. Okay, so there's what we do. I've got preview on image so I can move this out of the way and we can look at it. That looks kind of nice. When you do this black and white film thing, you can move these around. So there is some blue, there is also some red in the picture. And this is going to go through and process it, thunder away at it, and there it is again. So we'll just take that one, okay? And there are full previews jump back. And we'll say okay. Now what we want to do is duplicate this black and white layer. And there's duplicate. Duplicate. Now we're going to invert that. We're going to turn this into a negative. And you do that on image and you come down to negative image. And you get this neat looking thing. I like the looks of the clouds. Uh, now we're going to change the blending mode. And the blending mode is right here. And we're going to drop this down to dodge. And it takes care of it. It gets rid of everything. My goodness, it's gone. So I'm just going to move this guy down. Oh, jeez, you know. They have these pallets to goofy things. I just want to move it out of the way. Okay, I can't move it out of the way without having the damn thing dock. And we don't want it docked. There, it's hidden. Okay. Adjust blur. Gaussian blur. Again, this is one of these monster palettes. There's our Gaussian blur at a radius of 7. Now we can turn this down to, to 1 and see what it comes out like. Yeah, no, well, it, come, it, came to, it went to 0, didn't it? There's 1, 2, 3, and the farther up we take it, the more like the original it gets. So we don't want it to get like the original, do we? So maybe we'll take it down to about three. Okay, so that kind of looks line arty, doesn't it? Okay. <clears throat> so you should be very proud of yourself now. You've drawn a line art picture of this airplane. We'll bring this rogue pattern back, or palette back. Now we've got two of these. What we want to do is merge this one with this one. So that's layers, merge. You can almost see that, can't you? Wow. Merge down. Okay, so there you go. Now, if you want to bring some of that color that was in the original back, what you do is you go to the blend mode again and come down to luminance. And it just brings a bit of it back. So that's how you do it. Now, if you don't like that, if you don't want to have that, uh, if you'd prefer to have it just a black and white, um, take it back to normal. Normal. And it takes that color away. What you could do at this point, if you really felt you know, like you had to do something. Um, you can get out your your colors. Get your colors out here. Uh, let's pick some red. Get your brush. 
make it a bit smaller make it a bit smaller there we go and you can paint your own in there now I've got this set for density because I like that density setting and then you could paint in the blue and the, the stuff in the background and you know you can just do when, when you're you're just limited by your imagination here you can do anything you want so that's how you do it it really is a neat technique and it's fun to do and you can create some really good stuff so I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you found it interesting and I'm sure that you will find a place to use it on your uh, digital imaging projects if just to amuse and amaze your family and friends you know it's that you can take this fabulous picture and turn it into a, a work of line art and they will think you're amazing so thank you for watching enough silliness thank you for watching I do appreciate your time uh, if you found this video through one of the video sites you can find the site that it's on at www.the-graphics-tablet.com and love you have you have you pay me a visit and you'll see that address on the last page of the slides okay so you take care thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one